Hello! Welcome! It's Tuesday, it's uh, Sims time, and we're, I don't know, I think this might be our second last video of the Legacy Challenge, or stream of the Legacy Challenge, I'm not sure. Second or third last, I'd say, we're getting very, very close to the end. It's also, um, it's probably going to be my last Tuesday stream for a while, because I'm busy next week. Um, I've got... A meeting thing I have to go to that's on in the evening so I'm going to miss streaming um, that's next Tuesday and um, then once the Sims is finished I'm kind of go I'm going to take Tuesdays off for a while because it's been a very intense year of uh, streaming and it, it's nice to get a bit of a break and catch a breath for a while and um, you know have some time to finish my Lego Doctor Who series among other things that'll be priority one on my Tuesdays but um yeah, and I might come back to the two nights a week, but it'll just be the Sunday streams, at least for a little while, after The Sims finishes. Just getting that announcement out of the way while this house loads. It's taking a long time to load. Why is it taking so long to load? There we go. Okay, so yes, we are working on Chanty at the moment who is, uh, has 10 days until he ages up into a young adult and um, spawns us our new generation, our final generation. Well, our, I guess he's our final generation, our, our world ending generation. Hello, Bram Henry, welcome. Who's this? There's a, there's a ghost in, uh, was, that, was that just Felicity going back to her bed? Her name was Felicity, wasn't it? It was. Okay, I forgot her name. She's went to her bed to cry about wetting herself. She's a ghost. She doesn't have a bladder. I don't know how she's not wetting herself permanently. The liquid would just pass right through her. It doesn't make sense. Class in three days. He's going to get an A grade. It's the weekend. Great. Okay, so what are we going to work on for Chanty today? Um, has he done his homework yet? He has, but let's get him to do some extra credit work just to raise his responsibility a bit. Because we want him to have um, really, really perfect stats. Like, a, a, or traits or whatever. Hello, Lady Smiten. Welcome. Here we go. That'll get his responsibility up. Now we need emotional control and conflict resolution <laughs> as well. Um, emotional control. He's just going to have to write in his diary loads to get that up. It's a pain, but it has to be done. And we have to make sure he never, like, asks for advice, because when they ask for advice, they always lose one of their things, and it, it gets really annoying when you have them all full. Hello, Stormy, welcome. And they always lose it by just enough to fall out of range for, like, the trait. I suppose that's meant to be the challenge of it, but I don't like it been playing for so long we d don't we deserve an easy pass on this <laughs> of course when Chanty's older he's going to grow out his moustache into a more full um, bushy thing oh it's new year well it was Christmas last stream I guess it makes sense we do have decorations up so I don't know how we can do that can we count down to midnight how do we do that? Do we need the TV? Okay. Countdown is available after 11 p.m. Oh, we can't count down, like, in the morning. It's to make resolutions and party spirit. Well, we can make a resolution. He will make a resolution to, um... Raise a skill. That's, that's a nice, easy one. I mean, his journal writing is going to give him a skill. Come on. He doesn't know what to do with tables. They're new to him. He, he's unfamiliar with them. See him considering there? He's never really thought about them. I suppose he's seen them his whole life, but he's never thought, what is it for? Who invented this? Should I use it? What like what's the morality of table use? Is it Casanova's birthday? It is. Okay, we're gonna have 
are we going to have a birthday for Casanova? I don't actually like Casanova. Maybe we, maybe we won't. Let's, let's just eat our sausage and peppers and get on with our life. He can age up whenever he wants. He's surplus to requirement now. Obi's spirit is fading away. Oh no, Obi. Didn't he fade away last time? He he just... He's like that guy. He's like threatening to fade away. Because he wants us to like strengthen his connection. He's like, strengthen my connection or I'm going to fade away. I swear, I will. I will. I'll fade away. I definitely will. And we're just like, oh, fine. Go. Go, Obi. But he's just um, desperate to hang on. He just wants the attention. What's this? Party spirit. Drink, dance, and play music. How has he not done the decoration yet? Hang on. Let's um, take down the decorations and put them up again. There we go. New Year decorations. Oh, that was it. I think he needed to like change them. Oh, he didn't get the... Thing, though. Oh well, it's it doesn't really matter. What does he need? Fun? You don't need fun. Imagine all the fun you could have in your diary. Writing. Did his resolution count as done? It did. Okay, great. So that's put him in a good mood. And he's gonna get another point of writing as well. You hear us peeping subtly over his shoulder to see what he's writing about him. It's just like, hey, there's nothing bad about me in there, is there? Um, oh, yeah, here's mischief skill. We have to sort that out as well. Because we're not going to have much time to do it otherwise. As I was saying, I think this is like the second last stream. So we'll have to... Um, we'll have to do something about this. If it's not the second last, it's the third last. Like... Um, the end is nigh. I think we get mischief for freezing people. Here we go. Can't interact with this sim at this time. Okay, well let's just give him an old uh, rude introduction. Is that mischievous enough? Who's calling? Who's dead? Peyton Link. I don't know Peyton Link. I don't want to know Peyton Link. Oh, I can't freeze them while they're walking a dog, I think. But I can just, um, mischief him. Let's pickpocket him. Lou, hello, welcome! claim to be a master vampire. That's not really mischief. He is a master vampire, but I, th I suppose this guy doesn't know Daichi Shimizu. Did we know Daichi Shimizu as a child? His name sounds familiar. Who's this? Kalen Dragonborn. That name just reminds me of... Um, what was her name? Kaylin Langarak from The Sims 2, one of the default townies. Lady Smyton wants to know if in a future stream when Get Famous is out, will you hear become a famous actor since he's basically a super sim? It's possible. I mean, it'll be a long time in the future unless well it comes out next Sunday doesn't it so or is it the day after it's a, oh my god look this guy's dog is buried in the sand oh my god oh no how did this happen Corbin look 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 out he had who was his dog it was Dotty wasn't it but um 
Yeah, I could use him to test the pack, I suppose. Um, I, I could see what I can do with him in that stream. We will see. You you just keep up that mischief. We have to keep an eye. Yeah, go to you. Why are you not at your scout meeting? Oh, he's on his way, but he just really needs to pee. Chanty? We can't have you losing scout ranks. Um, I, I think he's getting away, you hear. You didn't get the mischief point. You need you need two of them. Oh, come on. Okay. Well, what's the easiest way to get mischief? Is it to troll the forums? It probably is. Let's send him home and we'll troll the forums for a while. Oh. Actually, we'll teleport home. It's next Friday it's out. Oh, okay. So, the 16th. So, oh right, not even this week. It's the, So, yeah, I, th I think the stream will be over by then. So, we might, we might take a look at it at some stage. I would rather leave it a while and then, you know, maybe cover it as part of a future challenge. Because, well, I have a lot of challenge ideas. Um, well, I say a lot. I have, like, a challenge idea for a future one. That I might do but it won't be for a long time and I don't want to you know well I want to have a lot of new features in the game when I play it for that just to keep it interesting rather than um, having too many things I've played with already okay let's get the old um, moodlet solver just perk chanty up a bit Shanty, don't worry about going home yet. Just drink the, the moodlet solver. Then you can go home. And maybe count down to midnight tonight. He loves counting down to midnight. I don't know why. Apparently because he's a teenager. Teenagers apparently love that. Where is his diary gone? It's not in his um, inventory. Someone's put it away, I bet. There it is. I bet you here hid it on the shelf. He, he had a read of it first as well. Just sn sneaked a peek at it. To find out all of his son's dark secrets. <laughs> I'm not a vampire anymore. <laughs> I'm actually nice to people. I don't want to be an evil overlord in a big mansion on a hill Shut right in level 5 he does gale, gain skills very fast nope Aha. continue writing He's going to have the perfect personality. Oh look, he has a scouting board in his inventory as well. So why do we have one upstairs then? Where did this one come from? Can we sell it? I'm gonna sell it. We don't need it. Anaya, stop, stop reading. She's finding out what he really thinks of her. It's like, I'm fairly neutral about Anaya. Um, she hasn't managed to kill herself yet, so that's a good sign for a butler. They have The butlers have been living longer and longer each time. I think the agency is sending out ones with repair skills these days. Wurzel? Where's Wurzel? Lou said Wurzel in chat, and I'm not sure what it's in reference to because of the time delay. Maybe it's because he walked by. Or maybe it was an answer to a question that I asked and forgot about. The scouting board. Oh, of course, where's all left him his old scouting board? Oh. Well, that's nice of him. What's he here doing? 
it's getting sparkly somehow is it 11 yet nearly okay we, we're gonna have to go count down to midnight bring your diary it's been a dry season so no one has repaired things outside in the rain says lady smite that's also a valid explanation the dry weather has saved so many butler lives come on it's nearly time Time for the countdown. He's not watching the actual countdown to midnight. He's watching Countdown, the game show. He's a really big fan. It's uh, reruns of the old episodes with Richard Whiteley in them. See, uh, there he is. Kissing Carol Vorderman and dancing in a party. I remember that episode. He's shouting out, um, consonant please, vowel. Oh, that guy didn't want a vowel. Yep, another consonant. Another. And a vowel. He's taking his time waiting for this countdown. Oh, there we go. I actually know a guy who was on Countdown, but um, I think he was on for like one episode. He didn't make it through any further than that. But I suppose even getting that far is kind of an achievement. If there was a game show that I would be good on, it's pointless. I, I watch that like most Saturdays. I never intend to watch it, but it's always on. And... Um, I generally do better than the teams that are on it. So if I was ever to like enter anything, I think that would be it. If a Doctor Who round came up in Pointless, I would absolutely win. And it often does. Because I know all the Pointless answers for that. Because I'm a big nerd. Um... Butlers have a better life expectancy in Oasis Springs. Yeah, pretty much. Oasis Springs is just a town of butlers. That's where they grow them. The butler, the Butlin Agency is there. They're based in Butlins and they teach people to buttle in the hot Oasis Springs climate. And then they send them out in the world. They ship them out in um, glass bottles to people's houses. And then you open them and you get your butler out. What do we have? Oh, honey cake is all that's left. Oh, he can cook himself now. Why don't you bake? Bake? Make some breadsticks, what? No. Let's cook a party size fruit salad. Yes. Excellent. Devour your fruit, child. Oh, Brown Henry's not familiar with Pointless. Uh, oh, it's New Skill Day. Yeah, Pointless, it's, it's a show where basically, say you're given a category, for example, like, I was talking about Doctor Who stuff earlier, they will say like, 
actors who have played the master in Doctor Who and then they've done a survey beforehand they've asked like a hundred people to name actors that have played the master in Doctor Who and the contestants have to guess which is the answer that least people went with and they basically you get point and as many points as people picked whatever answer you say so your goal is to get the lowest amount of points but if you pick something that's a wrong answer you get a hundred points and um, you know you'll probably lose so on that particular round say if somebody they ask name actors who have played the master in Doctor Who if someone says I don't know John Sim that's fairly well known it'll probably get like 50 points and then team two might say um, Jeffrey Beavers, which is a lot less known and would probably be like two points. And so, the, it, yeah, low score wins. So the people who with the two point answer would go through to the next round. And it starts with four teams and then every round someone gets knocked out and it gets whittled down to one team. And then they have to go into this finale where they're given three categories and they have to find an answer that nobody else picked in one of the three categories. They have like three guesses as well and they can mix and match the categories. It's very good. It's good for um, buff brushing up on the old obscure trivia as well. I wish there was a pointless game. I'd stream that. Maybe there is. It's probably terrible though. I don't, I know like video game versions of game shows generally aren't good. Although I did used to love Who Wants to Be a Millionaire on the PlayStation 1. And then there was Buzz, that quiz on PS2, but it was just guaranteed to start arguments <laughs> um okay he's nearly in emotional control range i think we're doing well that's <laughs> nova level three oh, okay that's fine um and I'm gonna keep keep pushing this whole journal writing thing. He's he's like he's a journalist, I guess, but he's like a private journalist. Gus was adopted by the Smith household. All these cats are changing hands now, probably because of their terrible abusive owners. Wurzel's wondering if I want to come over. Sorry, Wurzel, kind of busy. Okay. Uh, we're, we're nearly there. I'm, I'll, I can take a break from pushing for that. Oh, no. I was going to go open up the pet shop. Pooh isn't in a great mood. Oh, maybe you here can help her. Why not? Like, we're going to be finished soon, so I might as well use up all his points. Where is it? Here you go. Have a drink of this. And actually, I'm going to save it before anything goes terribly wrong. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Um, raise emotional control, lower manners. Yes. Manners are easy to get back. Okay. It's fine. We can live with that. We'll we'll deal with it. Who drink drink your thing? Oh, she's getting hugged. Okay, now drink your thing. It's time for work at the pooper scooper.
Oh, we've got like a thousand perk points. Let's see what we can get here. Um, we have inspirational speech, vet rush. Oh, oh, we have the additional vet too, do we? Hmm. Maybe we should hire that vet. No, I'm just going to open the place. We're going to treat some patients. Kando Kaz, hello, welcome. Jacob's still alive, still coming into work. That has been the biggest surprise of the series. Um, he's made it somehow. All right, where's our first patient? Here we go. It's um, this fantastically dressed woman. It's is that what's her face? No, it's not. It's Ashley Elridge. I thought that was um. Seeing about new skills day. I thought that was what's her name, Gemma. She just looks a bit like her. Um, and who's her cat? Bandido. Oh, I think we've treated Bandido before. And who's this? Mizuki. Bandido and Mizuki are patients of the day. So Lady Smiken says for pointless. Uh, the least spoken of townie in The Sims 4. If you say Bob Camp Pancakes, you're probably going to lose. And if you say Olivia Kim Lewis, you'd probably score quite high. Although Olivia Kim Lewis did correct to olive oil. Um, that makes sense. Um, yeah, that, 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 that would be a good thing. Like, yeah, sim name townies from The Sims. That would be that would be a really good category in Pointless, actually. They probably... It's... I don't know. I don't think they'd ask something as cool as, as that, but that would be my my uh, game. I'm not sure who I would say. Do, do they have to be Sims 4? Oof. Who's a little known townie in The Sims 4? Um... Oh, let's see. You see, this is where I wouldn't be doing well in Pointless because I can't think of one right now because my mind is frozen. Because I suppose because I'm trying to play the game at the same time. I don't know. Yeah, I'd be probably be on a time limit, so I'd have to be panicky and I'd have to like give an answer really quickly and I would say uh, something like um, I don't know they all died in my town <laughs> Dina Caliente <laughs> that would be a really high scoring answer I wouldn't I wouldn't win with that Oh, Dottie's back. Yeah, it is Dottie. She's sick from being buried in the sand like that. Come on. We're getting really good at this whole uh, vet thing as well. Oh, we better calm him. He's a little bit nervous. Oh, do you know who's a good obscure Sims townie if we can work in all the, like, the games? Avril Lavigne from The Sims 1, who would sometimes turn up at your house with one of the expansion packs. It was very strange. And you couldn't interact with her properly as well, I seem to remember. It does really date the game when they put in real people like that. They tend not to do that anymore. Goopy Gills Carbo says Kando Kaz. Oh, I, I remember Goopy. 
Goopy had like a wife and son in The Sims 3 living in one of the downloadable neighborhoods. There was like a Gils Carbo family and it was like a divorced mother and her child. Oh, we can't get to the station because Juniper is in the way. Or no, because Dotty is in the way. Drew Carey, yeah, Drew Carey would show up as well. Drew Carey would show up if you tr if you like spammed parties with your phone. So if you threw like seven seven parties one on top of the other, then he'd just show up. Oh yeah, Justin Timberlake and Christina Aguilera. I think they were both in it as well. Oh, it was it was the celebrity pack added them all. It added like really like real life celebrities of the day. And then, of course, the best Sims 1 pack was Hot Date, which added uh, Mrs. Crumplebottom. One of the best NPCs. By best, I mean most annoying. Um, greet this guy warmly as well. Who is this blue guy? London Munch. Welcome. There's a lot of people called London in this uh, this town. Is Nibbler his cat? Oh. I see someone's taken my veterinary station. Um, and stolen my patient. We're going to have to Oh, look who it is. It's this guy. Daichi. Daichi Shimizu. Yes, I will treat your dog. Bigfoot and Sims 2. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. I, I'd immediately think of Bigfoot because I managed to get him to marry one of my Sims through like with non-cheaty means just um well it was an exploit more than a cheat you know technically not cheating i didn't open the console or anything yeah you could get him um you could get him if you invited him on a date then at the end of it no you couldn't ask him on a date directly but you could influence someone to ask him on a date and he'd say yes and then at the end of the date, he'd kiss your sim if it went well. And then that would unlock all the rest of the romantic interactions. And you could marry him into the family. There were those mermaids in The Sims 3 as well. I didn't get that expansion pack until after my... Um, after my Sims 3 legacy challenge, but... I don't know if they were any good or if there were any NPCs with that. It sounds like a good idea, but I find, um, like, I loved The Sims 3. I really liked it at the time, but it just takes so long to load up these days. I don't know what's happened. It's like it's gotten slower with age. Also, they did that thing towards the end where they kept advertising The Sims store in-game and it was really off-putting. Apparently they had knockoffs of Ariel and Triton from The Little Mermaid. And there's a Tobias in The Sims 3, and this, according to Bram Henry, and The Sims 4, according to Lady Smite. That's from, like, from Arrested Development. I didn't know about that. It makes sense. They had the Never Nude trait in The Sims 3. Let's, um... move you to surgery. Uh -huh. 
gonna disallow new customers for a while. Just because this place has gotten really busy. Oh look, this is our last customer. Look at him. What a cool looking guy. Ali Al Habib. That is the greatest looking townie I've ever seen. Like genuinely, look at the shape of him. He's, he's like the kingpin from Daredevil, but he's like... Got, he's got a twirly moustache and a head full of like floppy hair. Let's check the chart. Has Kelly been in today? No, she hasn't. That's unusual. Maybe she's dead. We'll have to check. Lady Smythe asks, anyone remember how Johnny Zest was called Zest Johnny when Sims 4 launched and they corrected it in the patch? I didn't know that. I didn't catch it at the time. I mustn't have run into him, because I got the game when it launched. I got the game a couple of days before it launched, because I used a VPN to pretend I was in Korea, and it launched there like two days early. But if Maxis is watching this, then uh, you didn't hear that. It was a joke. But it wasn't really. Um, it was really cool. I didn't think it would work, and then it did. Go. Still not a level 5 rating. What do we have to do? Let's go build the owner anyway. This guy. I want him in our family somehow. Like, look at him. Can we just befriend him and move him in? Let's give him a gift. Oh, we're going to close the place as well. Oh, we didn't like it. Um. Oh, you here can befriend him. You here, come on. We've got to we've got to befriend this guy. Uh, enchanting cheerful introduction. I think enchanting is a romantic one. We don't want to fall in love with him, but we want him to move in. Um let's talk about the sunny weather. I see that we can sing about skill day. Right in his day. He's a best-selling author. Oh, they're both authors. You know, he can move in. He can be, um, whatchamacallum. He can be Chanty's tutor. He'll move in with us and teach Chanty how to write. Are they friends? Let's give him, we can't give him a friendly gift. What's going on? He's oh, he's gone. Oh no! Don't worry. We'll travel home. We'll bring him home with us. We're going to bring him him along, and um, yeah, that, that's fine. We'll bring him back to the house. He's just such a unique looking sim. Like I'd never think to make someone look who looks like that. But now I, we need him in our family. He will be the new glue that holds the family together. This is Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. He's Will Smith. He's come to move in with us because back home he got in trouble with some gangs. And they've put a hit out on him. 
and um, I don't know. There will be hilarious antics. Where is he? He didn't come. Oh no. We can't have the Fresh Prince without Will Smith. Um, okay. Manners, conflict resolution and responsibility. Because manners just fell out of... Um, Fell out of range. Okay, shower first. Then games. Kandok has wonders where he came from. We'll find out once we move him in. We can check his family tree. Okay. Energized, in a good mood. Ready to get some manners. Ready to set the table with some fancy settings. Great, we've got good manners again. Um, conflict resolution. We can, we can do that. Oh wait, hang on. Before we do this, you hear, you need to um, do your parenting thing. To encourage the manners to make sure that they stick. There we go. And then you can. Where is help fix bad relationship? Is it gone? Ah, there we go. You know you're here. You should really get along with Casanova a bit more. Casanova grew up. Oh my god. Oh, wow. What's his trait? He's neat and unflirty. Oh, he looks like such a creep, doesn't he? With the little ponytail thing. Ugh. I'm glad he's not our heir. We could have, like, this guy. Or this guy. Like, who? Where's the competition? Who would you choose? It's obvious. Okay, and now we need to encourage that, I guess. Um, you should do more of that, son. That fixing relationships thing you do. I thought our conflict resolution was pretty much nearly done as well, so... No, I'm surprised it's so low. Um, right, let's go play some Sims. Keep them busy. Lady Smiten is writing a Sims specific Fresh Prince of Bel Air rap in uh, chat. So far, we've got in West Brindleton Bay area, born and raised at the vet clinics where I spent mo most of my days, chilling and relaxing, acting all cool, stepping over puddles of vomit and drool. That that's our Fresh Prince. Did you not eat your? Who's Pooh? That's not your fruit salad. It's not your fruit salad. You. Get out of here. NaNoWriMo, it is November. Well, th I guess this is another year I'm not going to be writing a book either. <laughs> I always intend to. I never do. Maybe I should finish my game I'm making in the, within the month. That would be impossible. But, you know, a noble goal. I 
I've got tons and tons of leave left from work, but I did just take lots of leave, so I don't know. I wonder. It's always the thing I'd like to do, like take like a week off to just work on like different projects and stuff just for regular work hours. I know I probably wouldn't end up doing it. I'd end up getting distracted and like, I don't know, watching Marvel shows on Netflix or something, but it's the dream. You off to school? He is off to school. Great. He's going. He's going to get um, not promoted. What's the thing? I suppose it is promoted. He's going to get a higher grade today. Oh, it's Pooh's birthday. She can have some fruit salad. And then she can go blow out her candles. I don't want her blowing out candles on an empty stomach because it could just go really bad. Mail has been delivered. Oh, bills are quite low today. I don't know why they're sometimes high and sometimes low. Um, Casanova, would you mind paying them? There you go. Kando Kaz might, is going to start writing today just to create a story from daily word prompts. Oh, I wish I... I wish I could do that. I, I would love to like write something myself this month, but I'm basically, I'm making my game on the one hand, and on the other hand, I've recent I've rediscovered the whole Blitzball mini game in Final Fantasy X, and I'm currently building the greatest Blitzball team the world has ever known. I beat the Luca goers 6-0 just before I came on to play this. And I don't know. I don't know if that means anything to anyone watching, but um it's payback for them being dickheads. Hugh Ember, what's Hugh Ember? Or is it Huevember and it's like that, what is it, the stereotypical Brazilian laugh meme where it's like weh, weh, weh. Create an illustration every day in November using only one colour. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. I, um, I was drawing stuff yesterday like monsters for my game and um what i've been doing is limiting myself to like a particular color palette and i drew one of them and made it look really cool and then realized i'd forgot to use the color palette and now i'm going to have to recolor it again maybe this evening i don't know it depends on if i have the energy it's one thing about drawing and coloring stuff like I mean, I'm no Leonardo da Vinci, but I'm very, very fast. <laughs> like I used to, uh, well, I still do. I play in a D&D &D game and sometimes I draw along with the game. And in our three hour session, I generally manage to get out like a drawing per hour of some event that has happened in the game, like in color. So, would I consider streaming artwork sometime, asks Lady Smiten. Maybe, yeah. Vet clinic's not functional. I need an... What happened to the examination table at the vet clinic? Oh, no. Um, 
And yeah, I definitely consider streaming some artwork. I'd have to get the um, OBS on my uh, tablet, but yeah, that would be cool. We do have an examination table. What What's wrong with you bloody notifications? Let's open the clinic for a while, while we're here. Might as well treat a few sick animals. Treat them to some treats. Let's go make some treats. No, we shouldn't. We need to look after our um, patients. Candlecast thinks the Fresh Prince took it. I think he did, and then he put it back really quickly. It was some sort of hilarious um, caper where he came in and he accidentally broke the vet table and then there was him and his like stepbrother went into some like went down some like strange rabbit hole of trying to replace it without getting caught and they did just in time but now they're going to get caught anyway but everyone will laugh about it buy the fish coffee table yes I will Um, what's it under surfaces um, I assume hang on I'll filter it by packs I assume it's a season thing is it maybe not unless I'm in the wrong kind of tables Is Chanty Carlton? Uh, probably. I mean, we know Lou is Carlton. That was decided long ago. But, um... There can be other Carltons. It's from my first pet stuff. Oh, okay. I do have that. I have everything. Um... Mini backer kit. No. Hmm. Alt. Oh, here we go. This is the one. Oh, that looks good, actually. It really suits the place. It really goes well with the rug underneath it. Okay, look who's back, Corbin. And not with Dotty, he's cheating on her with a different dog. With um Twinkie. You know who it, you know who isn't back today is um Jacob. He hasn't turned up. I think he might be dead. Let's take a look. Yeah, he's dead. Um, so we're going to have to hire a replacement and nobody is qualified the most qualified is Janie Donaldson so let's take her on board Nicholas Harding he's like Santa as a young man he's still in training I guess the dog looks kind of scary yeah doesn't look the healthiest Let's do an old uh, skin inspection here and check your chart. Uh, temperature. There was a real Carlton just a while ago, of course. But uh, he's gone now. He's probably dead. Or no, he's he's not, is is he? He's like Oh my god, look look at this guy, look at his other outfit. Oh, Ali Al Habib, you are you are joining our family. Isn't you here? You're coming here and you're going to um let's get him here. You here? Great. And you're going to bring Ali Al Habib here. I was thinking who's this cool looking sim and I realised it's Nina Ninja. She looks very like, um, what's her face? Hester. 
which is kind of odd because Chanty looks very like Monty, so technically he's got to be marrying his daughter. But they were our best Sims. Oh, he's, he'll be right over. Oh, you're making me a very happy man, Ali Al Habib. Yeah, okay, I'll treat your dog. Whatever. There he is. Um, ask to move in. You hear? Oh, they're on cheek kisses. That's unusual. Ali, you moving in? No? Oh, come on. That's just... Okay, he didn't seem to like it, but... He said he will... Oh! Am I going to diss Morgana like that? Okay, Morgana was pretty cool as well. So this is Ali El Habib. He lives with his dog, Hamza. Oh, he's Hamza's owner. Do we want Hamza as well? I think we, we have to. Okay. Ali and Hamza are our new housemates. For this last, the last two, the final two episodes. They're like the new characters we've introduced to breathe new life into the show, but um, no one really likes them. They're the scrappy do. Oh. Why did it switch us back to you? There's. Much more interesting people about. Oh, here he is moving in. Let's get a look at his uh, family tree. Oh, he's still a young adult. He came from nowhere. He's got high metabolism. He's good. He's childish. And he's a dance machine. Oh my god. I like it. Where he came from, I do not know. But it's amazing. What on earth has been going on with this patient while I've been gone, Poo? This dog is very stressed. Needs to be soothed. Soothed. I don't know how to... What way to say that. We're never going to get our, like, excellent five-star rating now. There you go. Okay, who's next? You? Greet impatiently. I don't want to greet impatiently. You hear you can go home. Pooh, you need to get over this sadness thing. Tobias Castaneda, is that is that the Tobias we were talking about earlier? Um sorry, hang on. drink of this. Get yourself perked up. And then we can help treat Elaine Godwin's animal. We'll disallow new customers because we've got a family to look after. Could Pooh have a third child with Ali? I don't know. Should she? She could. I mean entirely possible. Oh god, this one's so stressed. Um, we, can, we can give it a go. I'm not sure it'll be born within the length of the stream though. Um, let's see. Uh, 
everyone seems pretty enthusiastic about it. So who am I to say no? I guess we'll have to. Um, is our new vet here? She is. Okay, she's taking care of everything. That's cool. We can't deal with this guy. Um, I think let's close the clinic for the day. Janie Donaldson, she's doing okay. Seems a waste of genetics not to breed him, says Lady Smite. And I guess you're right. Or upload him to the gallery so everyone can have a piece of him, says Bram Henry. Oh, that's a very good idea. I'm going to do that. I'll do that first, and then uh, we'll see what we can do. Where is he? He just looks so dignified as well. Kando Kaz would like to see a 100 baby challenge with him. That would be hilarious. Um, I think if we go to, do we, can we go to modify and create a sim to send him to the gallery? All the boss. We want just the him. Unavailable in this mode of create a sim. Ah, what use is it then? Maybe if we go into normal create a sim with him. Oh no, this is loading a long time. We did save just a little while ago though, so. I, oh, no. It wasn't broken. Now, Ali. Just save it here and... Go get him to... Might have to use the cheat card at full edit mode. Um. Oh, okay. Well, let's see what we can do with the mirror with him. Oh no, maybe... I presume that's CAS the full edit mode. Or is it... Full edit mode on? I don't know, Let, let's see if we can do that. Um, Doesn't seem to work. No, we don't want to exit the game. Oh, testing sheets enabled has to be on. Is that. Do you just like testing sheets enabled on? Um, hang on. Testing sheets on. Before I go into create a sim. Oh. Okay, we'll try it. Um in a minute.
Where is he actually? I'm going to take a screenshot of him with the C button. There we go. And I can... Just so that we, we will always remember what he looked like. Um, I'll try one more time. Testing cheats on. Okay, now let's see. MC command center. Sim commands. Modify and create a sim. Okay, this is the last time we're trying it. Otherwise, we'll find another way. So, CAS dot full edit mode. We have full edit mode, but we can't um, upload them to the gallery. Or do I full edit mode before I go in? You know, it's fine. I'll upload the whole family at the end of the next stream anyway, and you can grab him from there. Ah, bab, 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 bab. This is not jacuzzi time, young man. This is homework time. It's 5.34. It's time to learn. How's things going with his girlfriend, actually? Oh, they're still good. Perfect. Hamza's hungry. Hamza? There's food upstairs. Um, Can someone show Hamza where the food is? Ali. Oh, th there is no food. The bowl is gone. Uh, let's see I know the colour doesn't match but we're not going to go to that much effort Did the tiny pupils breed out? Asks Lady Smiting. Yeah, I think so. Is, did you do your homework? Uh, you know, I think he probably did. No, he just started it. Where's, where's the... Oh, there it is. You have to finish it. You can't just give up like that. What age is Hamza, actually? He's an adult. Maybe I should just move the two of them out and then we can, like, put them on the gallery properly, the old-fashioned way. And Lucas says, she's been watching my legacy on YouTube and early on I said I had plans for Newcrest after this challenge. I do. I don't want to go straight into another Sims challenge, though, so I don't know. It could be um, a long time after I finished, but I have some ideas for Newcrest. Sinister ideas. No, well, not sinister. Harmless ideas. <laughs> Where's you here? We we need to resolve his conflicts for him. You here? I'm here to fix your relationship with Brian Ellery. Listen, I know he's an annoying ghost. I know you don't like him, but you got to give him a chance. He's the best pal you have. Let's go. At least we bred back in chins. We did, but I think we're kind of losing them again. We had chins, but I think they're they're kind of going. We got loads of conflict resolution from something before, and I don't know what it was. I can't remember. Um, hang on. We need um, 
Oh, your hair is running out of uh, heat. These these moodlet solvers, but we need them. I can't relax until uh, Chanty has all his things. The chin thing is a known bug. All oh, right. Well. We've had we've had a few sim sims with chins. Oh look look who it is! Can we we can adopt him as a caregiver? That's hilarious. I wanted to um. I'll fix his relationships. We'll we'll fix someone's relationships. Patchy. No, you here? Can come on? Do we do you have any other relationships we can fix? Arctic Emma, hello, welcome. Oh, we're getting manners for this, that's good. Oh, it was the thing, it was a parenting interaction, wasn't it? Encourage giving compliments, I mean, that that's not it, but... No, when he was a kid, we could encourage him to um, say sorry. But I don't think we can anymore. So conflict resolution. Trying to ha Let's see. Sims can positively increase it by being apologetic or reconciling arguments. Oh, but we have to have arguments to do that. Ask him what he thinks of Ali. Shanti is a flat-faced Monty. <laughs> that's kind of true. He likes Ali. He's pretty cool. Oh, that's good. Oh, there must be some sort of cooldown on fixing relationships. Anger management, uh, whatever. Oh, can we, like, exercise the conflict out of ourselves, I wonder? Oh, poo, hang on. You've, you're bound to need relationships fixed, right? Ah. Okay, can we do extra credit work or something? We need, we have to raise something. Responsibility, then. Have other sims start arguments with Chanty and then have him apologise. Oh, we can see. I'll see if that can work. Maybe not you here. Ali? No, Ali's too nice. Casanova, there we go. Go and uh, be mean. Go insult your brother. Oh God, Casanova. Are those your pyjamas? Smooth apology. There we go. That'll do it. Uh, Pooh, this isn't your conversation. Can you please get out of here? There we go. Okay, that worked. Okay, he's losing empathy for this, but that's no. fine. We don't really care about him. Now, where is... Can we apologise again? Oh, I don't see it. Ah, oh, never mind. Where's your hair? Maybe we can fix his relationships now. Or, hmm. Just give him a heartfelt compliment. Close 
Oops, wrong thing. Ali, you don't have a bed. Oh, let's give him a bed. Um, he can have this room. And he needs to pee as well. He's really holding it in. They really hold it in in this house. Why is he going this way up to, up the stairs? This is like not a good route. He could have used those ones. Oh, maybe this is quicker. I don't know. Why don't you guys go get to know each other? Um, Chanty. Chanty, get out of Ali's room. He's our guest now. Ah, here we go. It's back. We have to go and fix your dad's relationships with everybody. Because he's a very socially dysfunctional man. Hated by the entire town. Even you, apparently. Even you, who were once his favourite child. Um, and look who's here to join in again. Listen, Pooh. Ali is right here. Why don't you go... Um, play in the rain with him. Oh no, I told Ali to go play in the rain. Pooh, you need to go... Um, can you join him in playing in the rain? Or she complained about the rain. Go stargaze with him. Chanty has an angry moodlet in his queue. If you go to the gym, it may move to the far front and he can jog away the anger. No, he doesn't have it anymore. I guess I missed that. you here you're gonna have to be a good dad here and insult your son Chanty no your dad has something important to say no he's changed his mind your dad has something important to say to you Chanty where are you going now okay he's just turning around Oh, and now we can smooth apology. Don't tell a funny story. Okay, and now can we encourage him apologizing? Uh huh. Yes. Oh, this is perfect. Okay. You hear can paint an angry paint an angry painting and Chanty could view it. Possibly we might be able to um, get it without that. We're nearly there, I think. Open face whips. They're having an unpleasant conversation. Oh, we can't apologize again. It's a pain. Ah, never mind. We'll work on the old uh, responsibility for a second. Where's... I knew we'd have a school project. Let's, um... Let's work on this project, then. Oh, he's making some sort of diorama. A medieval castle diorama. And he's acquiring the painting skill from it. Oh, I like this. I never got to make dioramas in school. I was always really jealous of that Simpsons episode. Hello, Arleth. Welcome. Oh, it is in his queue. Angry again. Um, okay. How long is he going to be angry for? Two hours. Great. We can get him to go outside and jog away the anger or whatever. Oh, no. He's very angry. This isn't good. Um, we could have cardiac implosion here. Um, jog to clear mind. There we go. Good advice, Lady Smiten, though um, a little bit scary. He could have gone the way of, um, what's his name? You know, the dead guy from the start of the series. 
Mangarold, that's the one. I'm not sure many of you guys were here at the start, but um, this is probably the second last part of this legacy challenge. Oh my god. Oh, well there we go. We finally had a wet day. That's what it was the dry spell keeping her alive. Um, this is probably the second last stream of the challenge. So Sunday, I would say, is going to be the grand finale. And um, the following Tuesday, I'm busy. And then I probably won't be streaming for a few Tuesdays after that. Just because I kind of need to take a bit of a break after this big intense challenge and take care of some other stuff. Like maybe finishing that um, Lego Doctor Who series I was doing and just catching up on life in general. So... Naya Merchant was adopted by the Schmidt household. So for a while it'll be Sunday streams only, but I'll be I'll be doing a few short games probably as well, just um, before I build up to my next big one. Oh no, you've ruined Chanty's mood by telling him the butler died. Oh, why would you do that? Just keep it from him. He's too young to comprehend. He is but a boy. Can we save again? Because we couldn't for a second while death was here. I was worried the game would crash and we'd lose everything. Or that we'd never get the ability to save again. That's happened before. Okay, so let's stick her down here with all the others. I'm not even sure what the right way around to put these things is anymore. The room is just so full. Can he jog away sadness? I don't know. Possibly. Did he get conflict resolution from jogging away the anger? That's the big question. He's still not quite in range for it, or for responsibility. And he didn't finish his diorama, as far as I know. No. Ugh. Well, he can finish it after school. He can cry it out and call Sadness Hotline. He can. I've just realised that um, Arleth is probably wondering who Ali Halabib is and Hamza our new housemates. He's just an, an, a random townie we found with it who looks cool. Oh, look at that cardigan. So we decided to move him in. He's just strutting about like he owns the place. He's off to work. He's a best-selling author. going on working normally yeah we'll leave him we'll leave him working normally we don't need him to work hard he's already an a student he's good i think we should how many days until ali is an adult wouldn't it be great if we could kind of save him here for like the next sims challenge just like put him, keep him in reserve so that like next time I play, I play a Sims 4 challenge, we'll just move him out like we did with Mangarold before to be our new like starter. I think that would be a fun idea. Hamza's hungry. Hamza? The house is so big that animals can't find food here. We have to call them all. Yeah, we'll reserve Ali. Ali. Ali will be... Ali is our guy now. For the next legacy challenge. You guys remind me whenever, you know, I decide to do one. We already have our next founder. 
And his name is Ali Al Hamza. That was his name, right? Ali Al Habib. Sorry, Hamza is his dog. He is a tank of a man. Oh no, did I? Oh no, I got you here to drink his own moodlet solver. He doesn't need that. Did I? Or did I give it to... I'm not even sure what I did. You hear? Oh, he did. Oh. I shouldn't have done that. That wasn't for him. I wasn't thinking. I should just call him Ali Al. Kando Kaz says his name's very close to being Prince Ali Ababwa. It is. Which means he's destined to found a great legacy. Oh look, our new butler. Khaled El Arabi. Whenever I see Khaled, I just think of Dalek. Because it's almost Dalek backwards. It's more like Dalek backwards. But I, I do think he's some sort of alien robot sent to exterminate us all. Um, right, let's finish that diorama. The diorama-rama. Lady Smythe says, hopefully genie sims are a thing by the next legacy. Oh yeah, Ali Al Habib and his genie friend. We can do that. If they're, if they're introduced. Remember Regan? Oh, our genie from like the Sims 3 who lived forever? Yeah, well, for a long, long time. I don't remember if she died or not. I'm not even sure I still have that save file. <laughs> I've changed computers. Well, I haven't changed computers since then. It's the same computer, but I reformatted not too long ago. After I had to get a new, um, a new processor. And I thought, well, why not reinstall everything while I'm at it? This conflict resolution. We're we're just about there. Um ah. on, just give an old insult. And he can do the old smooth apology. There we go. He's a mediator now. And surely we should be able to encourage apologizing as well. Just to cement it a bit more. Unnecessary Gamer, hello, welcome. <laughs> okay, now, Chanty ha is in range for everything. Um, he's got good traits, he's got good grades. I think he's pretty much sorted. So, let's... Oh look, Patchy still has um, points. I keep forgetting Patchy isn't married to Pooh. He's like her grandfather or father or something. I'm not even sure what relation he he's He's her grandfather, right? He's just been here so long, not doing anything. Okay, we're gonna get Pooh in a good mood and we're gonna send her out to work. Unnecessary Aimer asks, what have I missed so far? 
Uh, as Kando Kaz puts it, we adopted a grown adult townie because he looks cool. And he's going to be the founder of our next legacy challenge, whenever that may be. Okay, let's open the pooper scooper. Some people may think it's bad business to open your vet clinic at 9 p.m. But I think it's, you know, when everyone's definitely home from work. Except for vets, of course. Is this? Oh, Janie Donaldson. I forgot about her. Let's just have a sit down and wait for the customers to come rolling in. Oh, look who it is. Always our first customer. I think um, something suspicious going on with Corbin. He's always our first customer and he's always got a different dog with him. This is some kind of scam, I'm sure. I think Janie took his dog. She did. Okay. Well... We'll take... Is he the only customer left? Daichi. Oh, fine. Well, oops, I picked to compliment his outfit instead of treat his sick animal. I always mix those things up. Corbin is involved in an illegal dog trade, suggests Kando Kaz. I think he is. See, Ashley Elridge is here as well. Why didn't I see her? I'd rather look after her animals than this guy. Okay, let's um, check your chart. And infect, inspect your fur, not infect your fur. Wouldn't be a good vet if I did that, would I? Okay, we got it. Excessively wet nose. Treated. Who's next? You. You're my next patient. Yes, I will treat your cat. I will save her life. I don't know why we have to use the upstairs surgery room for the downstairs one. Lisbeth got. Goth married Braden Butterfield. Interesting. She's Yahir's daughter, right? I mean, that's true for most of the town, but I'm pretty sure she definitely is. Biscuits with Medicine X, they seem to be right for everyone here. You're next, whoever you are. Um, Erica Mori and Mizuki Mori. There's always Mizukis. Is this the same Mizuki as before? I think someone's stolen my patient. Okay. Jameson Bingham. They're both surnames. Who's this? Stacy Villarreal. There's still Villarreal's around. Heart. Listen to heart. I'm just picking options that rhyme. Um, what, what's the closest rhyme then? Take temperate chart and treat with feel good serum. Yeah. On. We, have to, we have to get to her before the other guy does. The other vet, Janie. Yes, I will treat your cat. Not Janie, me. Stealing all the good patients. I didn't know LeVar Burton had a LeVar Burton Reads podcast. It's just a piece of information from Lou. It could be interesting. Does he just like read books? So that would be pretty, a pretty nice listen. Just a bunch of audio books to listen to.
Hmm. Oh no, we don't want to be gross. We want to uh, test this cat's ears. Oh, this is serious. We're gonna have to do surgery. Slurry fur. They missed out by not calling it slurry furry. Lady Smythen's reading books on Celtic, Norse, Greek, and Egyptian mythology. Um, oh. I sometimes listen to the Myths and Legends podcast, and there's a very good one on there about, like, a Norse legend. The story of, um, Arrow Odd. So named because he had magic arrows and his name was Odd. Oh, look who it is. It's Kelly. She's back. But, um, it's such, it's a very, uh, fun legend. Part of it involves this guy, um, it's like Odd's arch nemesis is a guy called Ogmund, and Ogmund is like a half troll or something, but that gives him the power that when he stands on sand, he can like tunnel into it, he can just drop through it and like surface through other sand or something. But um, they're in a fight anyway, and Odd like is is winning, so Ogmund tries to disappear through the sand and escape. But as he's about to go, Odd grabs his beard and rips his face off as he sinks into the sand. And Ogmund, like, survives and becomes the king of some, like, city or something. But always wears a mask because he has no face anymore. I just think that's a brilliant, like, origin story for a villain. Kelly. Kelly has just been typically difficult. got our exam results from this one. God! This cat is the worst. I think we'll just put her to sleep. Will we? Can you do can we do that? Her owner is getting impatient. She thinks it's me. Look she's she's getting off it again. There we go. Oh, and look, it resets my my things. We don't know what the symptoms are anymore. The symptoms, I should say. And hmm. Okay, we don't know what the treatment is. Oh, we do. Biscuit with medicine X. That cat is my arch nemesis. Okay, we're going to close the clinic for the day. We did pretty well. It's fine. And then travel home. There you go. So with Celtic mythology, as you were mentioning, does that um, cover like all the Irish legends like of um, Cú Cullen and like Fionn McCool and all that? Because I love those stories. I just love Fionn McCool as a character as well. I mean, for those of you who don't know, he's a guy who, as a boy, he was sent out to like apprentice with some old man and the old man would sit by the river all day trying to catch the legendary salmon of knowledge and the first person to taste its flesh would like gain supernatural knowledge 
And the guy caught it and said to young Fionn, hey, will you cook this for me while I go out and do something else? So Fionn was like, okay, sure. And he put the salmon cooking over a fire. But the fire was too hot and he noticed the skin begin to blister. So he tried to pop the blister with his thumb and then it burned his finger. He burned his finger on it and stuck it in his mouth and there was a bit of skin stuck to it. And so he gained the salmon's knowledge whenever he like stuck his thumb in his mouth from that day on. When are these guys home from school? Oh, it's still morning. They're not home for ages. Ugh, that's a pain. Um, oh, look at Chanty. Only six days left of his teenage life. Stressed teenager. Teacher has to run out to pick up... Med Should Casanova... I don't care about Casanova. Um, you hear... Oh, we have to send you here out on a mischief run. I think that was our next thing. Send him out to Herbie's. Why not? That's a good place for him to cause mischief and get his skill up. Because I'd like you here to complete another aspiration before we finish. And he's very nearly there. And I won't be going over time in tonight's stream because I kind of need to pee. So um, <laughs> this one will be ending pretty much at 10 or a little earlier. <laughs> um, okay. Who's here? Marin Merchant. She's new. Okay, let's go in and freeze her. I think this contributes to the mischief skill. And let's do a flirty introduction to, I presume, her wife, Bridget. Oh, she she went for it. Okay. She was really offended that we froze Marin, and then she's just like, we flirt with her, and she's like, oh, you charming rogue. Apparently I said the same thing a few streams ago and kept going and Lou was concerned for my bladder. Yeah. I think I remember that. I don't know. I don't, I don't have the holding power at the moment. <laughs> oh look, some food. It would be a shame if somebody uh, cleaned it up. Okay, now let's get back to this mischief. In danger of a different sort of stream, says Unnecessary Gamer. Exactly. Is this actually giving us, like, mischief point? Oh, yeah, it is. Because I noticed we hadn't gotten a skill point for, like, all of this mischief we've been doing yet. We've been doing it for a while. Does he describe apocalypse? Is that mischievous? It's not like, oh, you mischievous character. Oh, she's getting away. Um, we'll just deal with this guy then. Terence Bryson. Oh, why don't we mind control him to um, change his outfit into swimwear? Oh, we 
can't. Okay, you. Hi. Moshy. Moshy Romeo. As opposed to like solid Romeo. And liquid Romeo. He's not quite solid, he's not quite liquid. He's Moshy Romeo. Or maybe he's some sort of Moshy monster. Isn't that a thing? Or wasn't it? Oh my god, look who works here. It's um no, it's not. I thought that was the guy with the dog. It's not, it's just Brendan Butterfield. Criminal mastermind. Yes. Actually, um, people in chat still talking about all the myths and legends and the Celtic ones specifically. There, um, there's an interesting thing in a lot of the Irish ones where, you know, they would have been passed on through or orally rather than written down for a lot of history. And at some time, like Christianity came to the country, and um, so. A lot of the stories, and a lot of the stories, like, dated back to pre-Christian times. But the Christians still told the stories, but they kind of had to work in, like, Christian morality at the end of them. Which is really sort of funny. It's like, um, so say there's, a, a lot of the legends end with the character converting to Christianity in some way. Like, there's one, the Children of Lear, about three, um... Basically, a jealous stepmother turns the king's children into swans, and they spend 300 years as swans until they hear the chiming of a church bell and turn into humans and then get baptised. Or there's the story of, like, Oshin, who's Fionn McCool's son, who, like, travels off to Tiernan Og, like, the land of the, of the young. He spends 300 years there but doesn't realise. He comes back, and but on a horse... But if he ever touches the ground, then he, he'll age into an old man. So, you know, he falls off the horse, he turns into an old man, and then gets baptised and then dies. It's kind of funny. It's, um... You kind of... It kind of makes you wonder what the original endings were. Probably the same thing, just without that detail, but, um... It would be... It would, uh... It would be interesting to hear them. What are we doing? Mischief, noxious cloud. Fake bad news. Criminal mastermind. But it's funny, if you think of it in, like, literary terms, it would be like if, like, in the future, they edited the end of, like, Lord of the Rings so that, like, Frodo gets to Mount Doom and he's going to throw the ring in and then Harry Potter shows up and enlists him for Hogwarts. Or, like, um... I don't know, you're just uh, reading to the end of, say, I don't know, what's a, what's a, an iconic book? You're reading The Shining, and it's like, um, Jack goes mental and goes around, like, hitting things with his axe and trying to kill his family, and then he gets lost in the hedge maze, and then he finds Hogwarts and enrolls there and becomes a wizard. That's what, like, the latter-day Harry Potter books will be like. <laughs> Let's see how this mischief thing is doing. We just need, like, one more point. Oh, here we go. I think we've got it. 
I think I just happened to blindly do just exactly the right amount of mischief. Oh, he... Sorry, where was it? He only needed level 7. I thought he needed level 8. Okay, well, he's got level 8 anyway. Oops. Kandokaz has a book of local myths and cures for ailments. One cure was diarrhea for diarrhea was grind a dried mouse into a powder and put it in your tea. Ew. That doesn't sound great. I have um, a set of encyclopedias and like popular science books or something, whatever they're called. Like um, from this, well, the story behind them is very funny because when I was like. 10 years old I was in some sort of national schools table quiz competition with some, with uh, some guys from my class like our teacher entered us into it, us into it and I told my granda about it and he was like oh I have some encyclopedias you can study from and he fetched them from like under his stairs and it's the Harmsworth household encyclopedia from 1921 and I, I'm not sure why he it was why even he had them. He like he wasn't that old, but um, so I still have them, and they have a lot of really interesting things. Like one of the books is like a um, it's some sort of lifestyle guide or something. Like it's a popular science volume or something. I think it's called, but it's got tips for dealing with an asthma attack. And it mentions like applying mustard to the patient's chest and weather permitting placing their head outside the window. It's also got an awful lot of stuff about eugenics in it as well, which um, <laughs> you wouldn't find in a modern encyclopedia with, you know, with good reason. They're so like people were surprisingly racist back then. Like, there's paragraphs about, like, the naturally lazy disposition of certain ethnicities and stuff. It's ridiculous. It's interesting from a historic perspective to have the books, though. Actually, what I did like in it was there was, um, like, a diagram of, a, like, a floor plan of a house... And I actually built the house in The Sims 2 and like had a family living in it. And it was a pretty nice house. Oh, why can't this go in the fridge? This, this, oh, I think it I think it did. Or else it went in the sink. Oh, it went in the fridge. Good. How you doing, Chanty? Six days until he ages up. And it's actually quite late into this day. So, yeah. I think I think we're pretty much on schedule with them. is hungry again Urgh. oh no we won't get him to watch tv he's gonna go play some play some sims he needs to have proper fun T tv just won't cut it he also needs a shower but that's fine that's a secondary need uh, ali hams is hungry we're going to need you to call him for a meal what are you doing eating an ice cream cone He's, how does he eat an ice cream cone? He just like puts it on the table in front of him, balances it upright and like scoops off little bits. That is so strange. Hamza, you oddity. Oh no, 
He's got he's gone back to eating it the normal way. What flavour is it? It is poor quality pistachio gelato. Hefty guard. Um surprise attack. Their performance gain for you here, that's good. Okay, now you go take your shower. Get that butler out of that bathroom. Yeah, you get out of here. Oh, are we down to five days now? We are. Ooh. That means we've played, what, like... It was 12 days, so we've played like six sim days today. Or was he more than that? I don't even remember. We've gone through quite a few. Oh, he's going to bed. Yeah, I think it's right for Chanty to go sleep. I'm just going to wait until you here comes home from work before I finish up because um, I want to see. Oh, he's not going to get this promotion, is he? Not yet. Ah, oh, even if. Bleh. God, it's fine. I suppose he'll get promoted next stream. He'll get promoted twice. He'll finish his aspiration, and all will be right in the world. Because he only needs to get to like level eight of the criminal career. Ali doing? How's he doing in work? He can't get promoted, of course. He's top of his career. Right? No, he's not. He's level 9. He's a best-selling author. He has zero writing skills. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Ali is a complete fraud. How did this happen? This is insane. His best skill is painting. He just paints the words onto the book and people buy it. He does picture books. That's his thing. He's um, And somehow he's got like a big contract out of that. Does he know people? Does he have like a wife or girlfriend or anything we don't know about? No, he literally only knows this family. He was so lonely, that's why he moved in. Like, nobody else even knew he existed. He was just a recluse up until now. Okay, well, I think I'm going to stop here because my my own bladder need has declined to the point that I better finish up. Um, if you've enjoyed this stream and want to watch it again, catch it on YouTube, Ninja Connor 86 If you're watching it on YouTube and you want to catch it live next time, then check out Twitch. My name there is Ninja Connor. Uh, next stream will be Tuesday, at, or sorry, not today's Tuesday. So next stream will be Sunday at eight thirty, and I believe it will probably be the finale of this Legacy Challenge. So hopefully I'll see you all then. Goodbye.